So that's hear? part of his show. He keeps saying that on the media. Yeah. And to his defense, he's not. Mm-hmm. He's saying that. Y'all coming to see me. Y'all coming to see this is what I do. So they got agitated with him. He cuffed him out. Hit him with. <laughs> and that's that's what happened. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't last. That was a few nights ago. That was yeah. no damn last weekend. That you, was last weekend. That was, that the was, weekend just passed. Two mm-hmm. days ago, nigga. Was Saturday. Y'all, yeah, yeah, you still, you still, you, did you take off running? <laughs> See, no, air, ah! you, you know how many phone calls I got? You know what? I like to forgot that, boy. I know Thank you did. Thank you so much, I know man. you did. Because you was there that night. <laughs> I was on the show. I literally was on the show. What city was it in again? Cro- uh, Crockett, Texas. That's about two and a half hours away from here. 45 mm-hmm. South going towards Houston. And Madisonville, so, Centerville, yeah. And so you telling me that you was the one that was out there. Did you, was you into it? Was you fighting too? What, what, what I'm fighting about? I don't know. Nobody mad at me. No, I ain't. I did what I, I was supposed to do. I but, went out there and did you, were, you wasn't inside the venue, was I was, it? I was in the, you was I, was, I wasn't in, on the stage or in where they was. I was in the, in what the did library you think of when, you, when you heard about it? What they said, get out of here. They, it's no, going it down. wasn't, it, the, 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 to, to, to clear the air, it wasn't, a whole bunch of people fighting and nobody, you know, nobody got hurt, no shooting. It was none of that. It was just more commotion than anything. People just, you know, trying to get to him on stage. So it wasn't a just a whole bunch of fighting. No, it wasn't none of that. Have you see the video. Have wasn't. you have you seen this kind of thing happen before? Never in my whole comedy career. That was your first time seeing Ever. it? Ever. Ever. But now, was I you did surprised? just say it, right? Yes, right before we did this set. How how long into his set before this happened? Maybe thirty minutes. He was already on stage. He had been on there already. He had been out there thirty minutes. 30 when minutes this happened? before this happened. Thirty minutes, at least 30, 30 minutes. Mm. At least. So I had left to sell my merchandise when he got on stage. Cause my wife was watching the show. I pulled her. I said, "Come on, let's go." She was right there when it happened. I mean, not when it happened, right there where it happened. Where it happened. So when I pulled her, I said, "Come on, to help me sell these shirts." She said, "Okay, I will go." Cause he ain't really. I'm not really into the show. Come on, let's go. We get to the hall, I mean, to the lobby area. I'm setting up my shirts. Matter of fact, I'm right next to his booth. He had all his merchandise. I'm setting up everything. Then I hear, oh, they fighting, they fighting. I'm like, what the hell? So I peep in there and I can see them trying to, on stage, trying to go. I said, what the hell going on? Never seen So it kind of cleared out. It didn't, it just, it just kind of went away. They, that whole thing happened maybe with 30 seconds. And they shut the whole place down. Everybody was leaving. No, it was just like automatic shutdown. Just people were just leaving because it's over. Yeah, because he was the last one performing. Right. We. So you I didn't see him no more. Who came got his merchandise? No, I don't know. You left. I left. You packed your literally, stuff right then. I, I literally our hotel was like right across the street from the. Cause we had a civic center. We had a nice little venue, maybe twelve, thirteen hundred people. It was sold out. Mm. But they're there to see him. I get it. There was, you know. But he, to his defense, he said he's not a comedian. But that's the way he he he, now, he, he said he's not a comedian. He says that right. I get it. Yeah, you're not a comedian, but respect the craft. You don't go out and cuss the man out. Do okay, you do all that, but comedy is but not. But that's what he do on his on but his life. If you're gonna do, let's say you book him, don't book him for a comedy show. Well, what you booking him for? Talking shit. They say I'm doing a talking shit too. That and now makes people sense. know what they're getting. Versus, I'm putting them with I'm putting them with all these different comedians. Now, I got a comedy crowd. I'm waiting to be. So when they booked you, they didn't, they told you you gonna be with Charleston White. The promoter called me. I didn't at that time. He didn't have Charleston White when he booked me. Okay. He didn't have. He said I'm thinking about getting him, or whatever. So again, that's him. And I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that he did comedy. Comedy. So I'm just like, I'm still like, okay. But I heard he was trying to get into it. The and comedy. doing it here and there. Well, he went with T.K. Kirk. Yeah, I was hearing, but still, I'm not that. really. Cause you never seen his Not really. Show. I didn't know. I'm just thinking, okay. He popular. People know who he is. You know, he had on some points or whatever. You know, he be saying certain stuff. Whatever. Yeah, I'm I get out, it. I'm out there. This is what I did online. Exactly. We do all that. Telling you what yeah. he doing. And I met him. I talked to him when I was down there. We talked shortly. Not nothing long. We just, hey, what's up, dog? I'm going up. And I told him, I said, I said you know, for work, I live in all. I was, we'll, you know, we'll get up. Whatever. We never did, but. Yeah. So, my thing is, 
I ain't knocking the hustle. That's what you do. You getting paid. You don't yeah. knock nobody else. No, I see that. I ain't <laughs> never knock the hustle. Do what you do. But at the same time, me being a comedian, as long as I've been doing comedy, I take this very serious. I don't think anybody can just come out here and do it. I made a post on Facebook saying, well, we make it look easy. But don't come to this craft because I'm supposed to be taking you away from your everyday hustle and bustle. Who's coming to see me? I'm delivering these jokes to entertain you. If I'm paid to see a guitar player, don't tell me you're not a guitar player. That's what I paid to see. And so he kept saying, I'm not a comedian. I'm not a comedian. I'm not. Well, So that's here. part of his show. He keeps saying that on He's there. not a comedian, yeah. And to his defense, he's not. Mm -hmm. He's saying that. Y'all coming to see me. Y'all coming to see this is what I do. So they got agitated with him. He cussed him out. Hit him with... <laughs> and that's, that's what happened. Piper, but let me ask you this. Next show come up. You got a promoter. He called you. He booking you with Would Charleston you White. Will you be performing Absolutely. at that venue? Absolutely not. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. You Why? Wouldn't I'm, I want to be a part of a comedy show. Clowning and acting a fool is not. That's not comedy. Now he, like I said, his defense. He'll say, "Hey, I'm not right." So, so he's not bringing. For new, but right. talking shit, be shit So talking. he's not so called bringing down the craft because he's saying outright that but you're I'm in not the a craft, comedy. But you're on, you're on my platform comedian. doing what you're doing, but you're not. It's almost like somebody saying, I'm going to come do comedy, but I'm out here juggling. I'm doing something totally different than what I'm, I'm out here telling jokes. This is what I do. But if you're doing something different, then do that. That's, that's a talent show then. Now nah, it's a talent show, it's not a comedy show. It's a variety show. That's fine. If you say it's a variety show, I'm good. We're going to have comedy. We're going to have shit talking. We're going to have people over fighting. We're going to have... But if I'm going to the Empire, what you going to the Empire for? Yeah, but, yeah, but, but another thing, safety becomes an issue, too. Absolutely. If your wife is there... Absolutely. You don't know who coming and what they it's, coming it's for. It's just a, what, it's what you bring, the energy that you bring and because what you're trying to do. I've been to a few comedy shows. They don't check you or nothing like no. that. No. Because that's not what is. What are we here for. We're here to have fun. We're here to... Laugh. We hear the, and at the end of the day, we done. But a lot of people say if somebody that he, heckling you, and you just, and it get to a point where it get out of hand. That's different. But did you hear that he was being heckled, or was it? They was booing him. He said, "I don't care about no boo." Look at this video. I, don't I seen the video. <laughs> they was booing him because they wasn't liking what he was saying. And they was like, "We are not getting entertained." What are we? They was booing him. Because a lot of them coming out to see comedy. That's what I'm, my point. So I'm serious about this crap. If you're going to do that, don't bring it to comedy. Do it over there. You can do your own. Do, everybody got their own lane. That's your hustle. So just do what they call a talk shit show. But if everybody's coming to so-called see comedy, but they're coming to see him, they know what he does. You've never seen him online doing any comedy. comedy exactly. So, so I, I understand your point. So You're why a valid they, point. Right, so why are they booing him for doing something that he always does? They, I guess they, they, the expectations of him were different. Their standards, they was thinking they was going to get something that they didn't ever, they, they never and got. And then you, you also, you start you would to assume see a mixed crowd play. of people too because some of those people probably just going for comedy and get confused in the, in the mix. And, just, and probably, and yeah, believe it or yeah. not, a lot of yeah. probably didn't know who we were. Yeah. Just, I'm yeah, gonna go the older crowd that probably didn't know who we were. Day Damn night, poor. trying to get out. All of that. They was, and it was, they was in there. That little small town, they came to dress. It was supposed to be a Christmas party. Look at the flyer. Comedy show slash Christmas party. After party, everybody was going to party at night. DJ, the venue was nice. They had alcohol. They had food. It was a nice, great night of, you know, nice event. That's all Got all messed up. Got it. I had packed pack of mine still, not one shirt. Wow. Messed and up that, the bag. Yeah, and that's how it happened. Up the bag. And that's how it happened. That's how any time. That's confusion. how it happened. So I'm just moving forward knowing, hey, man, this, you have to pick and choose what you do. Again, I got booked for that show. Didn't know how it was going to go as far as if you're going to get Once it. Once you heard Charleston was going to be there, you didn't, I didn't know. Even, I didn't back out. I didn't say, well, because that never happened. Even when he him, didn't know. He never done nothing like that before. Even the little stuff he been going, he never done that before. Yeah. That never yeah. happened. If so his reputation was more of him talking shit, but not reputation of him trying to. Do you think, because I believe that everybody on the internet, that's a win for Charleston. Absolutely. That, on the internet, that's a win. But what do you think about his shows now? Do you think there'll be people, more people? People going to be reluctant to, to, to book him. People going to be more reluctant to even go. Like you say, your safety is hand I don't know what he's going to do next. We unpredictable. How, how we know what's going to happen? And most comedians know, might not want to go. I mean, how, how, 
How I know who in the audience? Because it looked How like who won again. when the you dude came up to the stage, he wasn't up on the stage yet. But before he, he could get up on the stage, he threw that thing at him. <laughs> Is that a, I was standing I'm wondering, is that assault? assault? He could have said yes. it wasn't. You see what I'm saying? Because he didn't way? get up there until he was a, until the thing got through it. Exactly. Him. So what do you expect him to do? What would you do? I mean, you defending. That's about to, to hit mm-hmm. you. What you going to do? How do you expect that to turn out? Wow. I never seen that like and that. And to me neither. I seen it that so, night. It got sent to me er, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Trill Talk No Pill Talk sent it to me. I was like, damn, what's going on? This is well, real. thinking that, oh, he I got whooping. Ain't nothing. He didn't. No, nah, I said it's real, though. Yeah. It ain't no fake. This is, they didn't say Yeah, no, no, this. no, no, no. That wasn't, <laughs> no. But nothing, no, I mean, nothing happened to him. He was, you know, he was fine. He got he his back in, he say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got his money. I mean, like I said, he knocked the hustle. That's all but he just, I'm just about. Right. But I'm just about, I'm, 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 I'm more about uh, comedy. my people, comedy. Let's have a good time. This is what I do. We're going to laugh. That's, you know, but all the other stuff, no. Man, I, like I say, man, I, I, I'm i just glad you're okay. Yeah, and everybody called me. I got so many phone calls. Piper, you okay? They ain't mad at me. Damn, I ain't got no enemies out here. I did my part. I came and delivered. Gave them what they wanted. I'm good. So I'm, I, I appreciate all the calls. I appreciate all the concern. But Piper was good. You got to be careful on the you ride got home. Be. Yeah, on that just, ride home, coming from down in that country, man. Man, look, I left the next morning by 8.30. <laughs> got out of there early. I ain't no eating breakfast. I knocked the egg out of my mouth. Let's, let's go. You ain't that hungry. We find something on 45. We, we can get out of here. But now, nah, all jokes aside, it, uh, it was a great show. I hate that. That took away from the show. Because now people ain't remember what, what, what their Piper did. Now, nah, all that trending. Not me and my, my boy. Mm-hmm. Shout out to my boy Gross Man down in Houston. He was a host. Great host. That's my boy. And we, we took it to the house. I mean, we gave them what they came for. Wow. And then now that happened. Now that wife, who, who going to be talking about the show now? Mm-hmm. Saying, oh, man, that guy was funny. No, they're going to they, they gonna be talking. Uh, uh, Charleston going to do about 30 more podcasts. And that, he, he's going to go, and, go live and he, he run his numbers up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.